on, everybody? Hey. This is my mom. You don't know already. Yeah, I'm Celebrity Chef Nikki, and this is... I'm Celebrity Chef Flynn. You, you gonna take that name? Well, I'm Ron Flynn. Y'all come on my cooking show. Uh, that's enough of you. Okay. I got him here. <laughs> yeah, no. So let's start over. Y'all so, don't want me to cook. Yeah. No, you can cook. Now, wait. What's All your right. favorite? What is your favorite? Favorite? When you was a kid, what was your favorite meal? I ain't a kid no more. Well, that's all right. Yo, can you run Jeff? No. What? You can't remember. What is it? Pork and... Pork and beans, now she had to eat pork. No, the te- that's no, that's not. It's pork and beans and... Pork and beans are hot dog, you know. Thank you. Yes. A little struggle meal. That's no. what I eat it to this day. <laughs> that's a million dollar meal right there, baby. <laughs> No, but Ron is real particular. He don't eat a lot of stuff, but you know, he's into the chicken. Oh, but you do have this amazing chicken salad that you won't teach me how to make. Maybe one day. Yeah. I'll come on with a little I got my own, no worry about it. Come on in here, come on in here, boo babies and best friends. Welcome, I am Celebrity Chef Nikki, and this is my heart and soul cooking experience. Today, I have a treat for you. Barbecue turkey ribs. Let me explain something to you. This sauce right here, second to none. This gonna sell out. <laughs> no sauce on the planet tops this one. We have barbecue turkey ribs with your choice of sauces. Also greens, a southern blend. Collards, mustard, turnips, smothered shrimp and creamy grits. And the best, oh wait, wait, no. Red beans and rice with smoked turkey sausage. You gotta cut that fat. You need to the lean turkey. All right. I'm washing my hands. I need y'all to know something. Pay attention. The best cooks are those that use their hands, but they have to be clean. Okay? Over here, these are very special. These are my turkey ribs. So listen, a lot of people may think you're supposed to rinse it off, but these are, they come in as natural juice, okay? So this right here, this juice right here, I need y'all to pull in, come in a little closer, because I'm not rinsing these off. You need this juice in order to taste the juice. Go with the turkey meat and together it, it works. Just that's just how that go, okay? These are the sauces. When we're done, you get to choose whatever sauce you'd like to have with that, and it's absolutely amazing. Over here we have greens. We have three different types, okay? Three. Look at here. Look how pretty. Look how pretty she is. She just ready. When you pick your food, make sure you pick the food that's not bruised, that's not beat up, that's not discolored. You want it to give you everything it's supposed to give. It's an experience, right? So this is the mustard. Over here we have collars. Collars are real hefty over here. This is a big batch. Shout out to my assistant for getting that one for me. And over here we have turnips. So all three of these are gonna come together, chop them up, add some turkey to it, and it's a marriage. It goes together. All right, come on over here. Let's see what we got. So right here in this little pot here, this little baby pot, but it has a lot of power. This is my red beans, seasoned to perfection. What goes with that? Some rice. Back here we have a pot of greens. This is for the greens. This is, this is where the magic happened, the pot lit. This is where you give life to the greens in this pot, right? Back here we have the beginnings of the creamy grits. You see that? I want y'all to take a look at that. No, you, that's enough. Okay. so. With those creamy grits we're gonna have, oh, come on over here, come on. Shrimp. I think the shrimp with the tail on means you ain't playing, you mean business when you got the tail on, you know what I'm talking about? It ain't the shrimp, this, this guy's the tail. Okay. All right, greens, ooh, fun fact. You know that greens were created back in slavery days, right? The whole idea of having greens and the seasons that go with the green created Soulful Sunday because in slavery days they didn't have a lot of choices, and so they began to use what was available to them to create meal memories for their families, you know. And everybody have their own way of doing it. Some people cut it, some, you know, sh is it called shucking, I think? I'm gonna call my grandma. But yeah, you know, you cut, take some of the stem off, leave some on there. We have three different types. If I was just using this one, I would not take all the stem off. But because it's, the stem is giving a lot of stem, I'm gonna take some of it off. See that? So I need y'all to pay attention to the roll, right? You take it and you roll it, right? And you take your knife and you cut the roll, right? Don't cut yourself, don't cut yourself. That's it. Whew, cooking, how did I get started with cooking? 
You know I have eight children, right? Hold up one hand with all those fingers. Then hold up your second hand with three fingers. That's how many kids I had to cook for. So I had to get creative. And the things that I cook for people, I cook for my children as well, right? So I had to fall in love with cooking because I want to make sure my babies get all the love, you know? Aww. This is what we're doing. So normally I put the whole thing in. I'm going to cut the meat off or at least begin to slice it. A lot of juice in a bone too, right? Okay. I'm gonna do that like that. Smoked turkey. I don't put pork. A lot of people put, you know, ham hocks and all that there up in there. I use smoked turkey for everything. I'm gonna take that turkey and put it in that pot, right? All that matter, no turkey left behind. Put that up in there. There we go. See? So it already has a season. I'm sorry y'all missed that part. But it's good. It, it's good. It's great actually. I don't know about good. These are going to be smothered. Now just grill shrimp. Most people just grill the shrimp. I'm going to tell you what. You can eat shrimp. You ain't never going to try another one after this, honey. This is ready to go sauce. See how, see how it looks? Look at, the, see, look at that. This actually, I'm going, to, I'm going to do these up real good. And I'm going to leave you to be able to see that you can actually dip the shrimp in the sauce. Salmon, tilapia, whatever your choice is for this seafood comeback sauce. People even eat it on chicken, it's that good. Like I guarantee you, you will not try another sauce. Let's get this all stirred up. Make sure everything's coated with the seasoning. Giving it all the life you need. Okay babies, we're gonna let this cook. Like shrimp and grits, I'm a millionaire based off that alone. That's it, like for real. And it's my own creation, I created it. I just went in the kitchen and went to work and usually when I'm, Challenge with something or I'm doing something new, I'm like, okay, Lord, help me with this. And I'll go to work and it just comes out and it's consistent every time. Smothered shrimp and creamy grits are a favorite. I sell out whenever I make it. It is not a joke. It's expensive, but it's not a joke. This is made with a whole lot of love. And inside this pot, it's like a robust, flavor, full of flavor. Like, you won't even understand unless you, I mean, I, I want you to just come in here and look. This grit is not just... Grits, this is flavor. Yeah, that's the flavor for me. The turkey ribs in the season to perfection, right? I don't know if you know about your seasons, you can see what's on here. I'm gonna pan sear this and then um, it'll be good to go. You add your favorite sauce to it and that's all you need to do. That's it. No worries, no stress. So a whole lot of love in this pot, baby. Now what we doing back there? Stay right there. Don't go nowhere. Hold them down. Okay. Oh, baby, listen. I had that pot before I had kids. I don't even know. No. I ain't gonna put it out there like that. But I have had it for a very long time. I want to say 10 plus years. Falling off the bone. Baby, listen. Cooking is what I do. I handle me in the kitchen. Listen. Look at that. Look at that. Somebody look at that. I can't even flip it over. Look. It's a whole situation. Um, you ain't got nothing on me. In the kitchen, yeah. I can get on chop and, and, and chop it up. But I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna mess the show up and it's gonna be Nikki's after I'm done, so. Okay, this is rice. This goes with the, for the red beans and rice. So look, I don't have any filling in my fingers. Don't do this at home. Okay, don't do this. My fingers been cooking for a long time. So. You try this at home, do not call me talking about you burnt yourself. I told you ahead of time, don't do it. So I pre-made the rice, this parboiled rice, to add to my red beans and rice, right? Go ahead, the, the beans are done. These are red beans seasoned to perfection. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add that rice right in there. I prefer to have more beans and rice, but that's entirely up to you. Look at that, look at that. Somebody look at that. We could add another bag, but I'm gonna let this do what it do, okay? All right. 
pinch this off. What I'm gonna add to that is smoked turkey. I don't cook with pork. There we go. Cut it up like this. This is for the this is for the red beans and rice. We're adding smoked turkey sausage. So then after I cut it, I slice it in half. Some keep it big, I don't, I just cut it up, yeah. Cut it up for you. There we go. Oh wait. Yep. That's it. Hey best friends. Did we enjoy this? Thank you for coming in. I totally appreciate you stopping by. This has been heart and soul cooking experience. Why? Because everything I do is from my heart and soul. And I am so grateful to be able to share this gift with you. Stay tuned, Nikki Soul Food Vibes coming your way. If you're interested in any of these recipes, please DM me at Celebrity Chef Nikki Instagram and I'll guide you to the correct website. Again, it's been my pleasure to allow you in my kitchen. I remember do everything with a spirit of excellence to give the ultimate experience. See you later. Bye.